Hey everybody, it's your girl Coco Kitten Bruja here and uh, we are rolling along with these new readings. This one is going to be for shadow work. This one might be a little bit more intense guys. Um, this one we are going to deep dive into what's going on as far as any anybody who's focusing on shadow work right now. Um, these readings are definitely going to be for those. There's This is timeless so when you see it is when you're supposed to see it. These are going to um, tap into inner child healing. This is going to talk about um, anything that's below the surface that needs to come up. If there are things that you should be aligning to that you're not, um, this is definitely a reading that's going to tap in and it may even be triggering. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with these cards, but this is a reading that I wanted to offer um, weekly just because sometimes it's hard to sit with ourselves. There are times where it's easy for us to talk ourselves out of certain things so this particular reading um when you're meant to hear it you definitely will and it will kind of help jumpstart any shadow work that needs to be done um i definitely say if you are the type that journals you should probably take notes of this particular reading and see where you can expand on anything that's brought up here if there's anything that maybe journaling could help with um, as with all of my readings I'm going to do a little bit of breath work and then we're gonna clear the energy with a little bit of sound so what I want you to do is we're gonna have three um, deep breaths we're gonna breathe in through the nose um, and then we're gonna hold it in our solar, solar plexus excuse me um, for three seconds uh, and then we're going to exhale through the mouth. As you breathe in, you're going to breathe in high vibrating energy, love, light, um, joy, peace, prosperity. Let all of that fill every soul uh, cell in your body. And then as you exhale, you're going to exhale doubt, fear, worry, imposter syndrome, all of the lower vibrating type of things, right? So while you guys are doing that, I'm going to do my thing to tap in and we're going to play a little bit from the singing bowl and then we're going to jump right into slinging these cards. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with those three deep breaths. Start with that first one, uh, inhaling through the nose. All right, now let's go ahead and get this singing bowl going. All right, so we are going to start off with the Cosmic Tarot. And of course, all of the decks that I use will be listed in the description below. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe if you guys um, feel so inclined. Also, as you are watching this reading, please let me know how you feel about this particular type of reading in the comments. You guys are always so amazing about giving me feedback and I would absolutely love and appreciate any and all feedback about these new readings that I'm doing. Okay. All right, Spirit, what shadow messages do we have right now? Which shadow messages do we have right now? What shadow messages do we have right now? Okay. 
him. And you know what? I'm going to manually pull the rest. So out the gate, we have the devil that's talking about temptation and really feeling trapped, feeling like there's no way out of a situation. We have the five of swords. We have the prince of swords. We have the five of cups. And we have the two of wands with the bottom of the deck being the high priestess. So there is a lot of there's a lot of air energy here. There's the feeling that it's almost like you can't get a hold of anything right now. Everything seems so out of grasp for you, but at the same time, feeling as if there's someone else pulling the strings for you. You are in control of your own life, your well-being, or at the very simple, simplest form, you aren't in control of your own energy. You feel like the moods are shifting from day to day, sometimes hour to hour. Um, and you feel like you can't move forward the way you want to. You can't really find the balance and, and step out of this feeling of restriction. Um, with the bottom of the deck being the high priest, it's, it's, it's very much so a call to um, really find your place, find your, find your balance. Um, this lack of balance is is causing you to fall to, to to fall victim to a lot of um, I want to say having a victim mindset. I'm really I I'm sorry for all of the pauses, guys. I'm really looking at these cards from a perspective of the best way to approach it because. Some of you are really carrying a lot of weight. You're carrying, I almost want to say you're carrying the burdens that don't belong to you. Like with this five of cups energy, all of these cups, it's almost like other people's drama. Um, and because you're so used to cleaning up the messes of other people, it's almost like this, this mess is too much now. Um, you're creating a space where other people's mess is spilling over into your life and you really can't even, you can't get ahead. You can't step out and, and venture forth and break free from your comfort zone because you guys are so used to carrying other people's shit. And it's literally like some of you are physically ill. Like it, it's, it's literally killing you. Um... Because you're not taking the time to break free, break these chains of conformity, um, break these chains of being the strong friend, break the chains of, you know, self-sacrifice. I feel like that's why you don't really have much control over your own life is because you're so busy trying to uphold this image of being reliable being reliable is only cool until it's like people are depending on you whether it's life or death or not like it's cool to be reliable and it's cool to keep your word but you need boundaries that's the word i was looking for jesus there is a lack of boundaries here and i feel like the lack of boundaries speaks to the way you developed your relationships. I want to say if you guys are in your early 20s, it's relationships that's that's happening now. If you are not in your 20s, if you are older, they happened in your 20s. Think back to the relationships that you've had in your 20s or the relationships that you have now. There are clear cut issues where boundaries are not being respected or boundaries have not been established and it's when the boundaries haven't been established that are the most detrimental because you are literally laying here open to whatever comes your way and right now what's happening is swords people are hand look these flowers that you try to grow people have stabbed them they stabbed them because you left them open 
you left yourself there lying. You're not even attending to the flowers that you worked so hard to build because you don't have any boundaries. There's no gate to, sit, to, to close in your garden. So what happens? People leave their shit with you. This may, these swords may as well be fertilizer or weed killer. I don't do gardening, obviously, but it's time. It's time to break free of these chains of people pleasing and being the one that cleans up everybody's shit because you can't move forward. You can't step out of this comfort zone. You've dealt with this so long. You feel like this is just who you are. You are the fixer. You are the strong friend. You are reliable. That shit is overrated, bro. As the person who's typically the strong friend, it's overrated. I don't, I don't, I, I don't have a subscription to that personality trait anymore. Everybody has to be the strong friend at some point in time. You have to be your own strong friend sometimes. And that's a word. I feel like if you are watching this right now, you need to understand that you need to be your own strong friend for a while. You got you got to stop cleaning up other people's messes because it's leaving you in a space where you can't even tap into your true form, your true self and step out of your comfort zone because you're chained. You're chained to this idea that you have to be um Mr. or Mrs. Reliable. Um, it's a superhero complex. It's a Superman complex. You work so hard to save the day that by the end of the day, you're broken, you're battered, like you're left out in the dust, right? I'm gonna keep pulling. I'm going to pull from the magic of you oracle. Kind of get some more insight. Those tears that you've been crying lately, that's energy that doesn't even belong to you. You've got to learn how to unload that. Okay. Nothing wants to pop out. <laughs> okay. Sacrifice. What can you let go of? You got to let go of sacrificing yourself first and foremost. But I'm pretty sure there are other parts of you that you are going to have to let go of. Uh, serendipity. Merge with the flow. Absolutely. You can't find yourself flowing with spirit and aligning to what it is that you're meant for spoiler alert it's greatness now what that greatness looks like is up to you um you can't you can't do that if you're too busy serving everybody else if you're too busy being held by this expectation you've given yourself that you have to be there for people solitude alone but not lonely and i feel like that is a nod to the reason you have the Superman complex, that need to feel wanted, that need for validation um, when it comes to helping other people. It's very easy to get addicted to the feeling of saving the day. But at what cost? You see what I'm saying? Bottom of the deck is which the magic you seek is inside of you. Let it flow, which the fact that this is the bottom card plus this is the bottom card you have everything within you to break free of this limiting idea of yourself you have everything you need to break free and get out of the comfort of that addiction to validation that addiction to saving the day um you have to tap in 
You absolutely have to tap in and let go of the idea that if nobody is nobody needs me to save them, then I'm nobody because that's not the case. What it is, is you're not giving yourself uh, or other people a chance to understand who the real you is because you're so busy playing the part of savior. And you have to let that go. Now, we're going to get a little deeper with the uh, inner child oracle here in a second. But I want you to really look at these cards. When we talk about the sacrifice, the sacrifice is very similar to this death card. This feeling of being trapped, chained, confined, controlled. But the thing is, you're being controlled by your own needs of validation. Um, because as much as you are tired of cleaning up everybody's shit, the moment that they post on Facebook, oh my God, this person is wonderful because they're always there for me. You get that, that what is it, serotonin that you need. You, you get that dose of happiness that you were looking for when you decided to help them to begin with, which means that you're not even helping them from a genuine place. Yes, you're giving them what they need and yes, you're there for them. But if the only reason you're helping them is to get that validation on the back end, you're, you're, not, you're doing yourself and you're doing them a disservice, right? It's really time to know who you are outside of being the savior. Know who you are outside being the servant because this is the life of servitude. That's really what this is. And you can't break free and be your own person if you're always trying to be the servant for somebody else. So before we get into the inner child oracle, I'm actually going to pull out some more tarot with the Santa Muerte deck. And just go a little bit further here. I feel like we're going to get more of who you are outside of this with this particular layer, but we shall see. This deck is being a little squirrely here. good one I said one more good one come on cards these cards are a little stiff so it's a little harder to shuffle them there we go so we have the knight of wands Action oriented moving forward. That fire energy. <laughs> Y'all keep giving me one card and make me pull the rest. That's fine. That's fine. And then we have. The Nine of Pentacles. Again, I like I figured, this is the layer of who you are supposed to be outside of this servant energy. Temperance, absolutely. Alchemist, turning lead into gold. Aligning to what it is you truly want. The Lovers, committed to yourself. Committed to a healthy relationship with others. And then we have the wheel of fortune. The moment that you stop serving other people, the wheel starts to turn in your favor so that you can become your own savior, right? With the bottom of the deck being the 10 of swords, ending cycles, ending cycles. Let go of this cycle of servitude. Let go of this cycle of, of obligations, that don't even concern you. These are obligations that you've created 
yourself for need of this this savior card right this superman complex this is who you are outside of this addiction to to saving people you are forward moving you are financially independent you are an alchemist and you are health you are healthy in your relationships you are a committed individual who understands what it means to have healthy relationships with yourself and others that is who you are outside of your shadow outside of the need to um help other people at the sacrifice of yourself right so now we're gonna put the cherry on top with this inner card uh inner child oracle to really kind of drive home what's going on this week and for those of you who are taking notes who are doing your journal prompts um i want you guys to think about exactly where you are finding yourself being the savior how can you pull back and resp and start establishing boundaries because i'm gonna tell you right now if you spend so much time helping other people clean up their messes they're not learning anything and you're not learning anything Okay, one more good one. Now, I'm just going to pull one good card from this deck. And then we're going to do the bottom of the deck. Because these cards are slightly intense. Okay, so this card says, Be still. To stay needlessly busy is to stay distracted. Something that can help us survive our pains and troubles, but does nothing to heal them. Though it may seem daunting, take time to be still. Relax and let your senses rest. Put away all sources of stimulus. Let the silence envelop you and let yourself just be. That goes back to this solitude card. You're working so hard to be there for everybody else, to be reliable, to be the shoulder to cry on, to be the strong friend, that you are not taking time for your own healing, your own development, and it's because you're avoiding it. Whatever it is that you're avoiding, it's still there, baby, and it's going to be there the moment that you sit down and say, I'm tired. Enough is enough. You can't keep running. You can't keep falling into the Superman complex in order to avoid what you're trying to heal. It's going to catch up to you. It's going to catch up to you. Bottom of the deck being you are worthy. It is now time to practice speaking the words you have always longed to hear to yourself. Find a mirror and get comfortable. Look deep into your own eyes and proceed to give yourself what you wish others had given you, particularly as a child. It may feel awkward, but stick with it as there is much healing in this practice. Absolutely. And I feel like you're trying to find these words, this validation in others, which is why you self-sacrifice, which is why you go above and beyond to always be there for everybody else so you can hear that praise. Thank you. You're awesome. I appreciate you because you didn't hear that enough. Start saying that shit to yourself. Start being and saying what you wanted as a child. Because it's in those moments that you self-affirm yourself that you don't need to self-sacrifice anymore. Because you already have everything you need within you. You don't need to look outside for it. And you don't need to kill yourself in order to get it. You are worthy. Be still. That's all I have for this week. Um, let, me, let me know how you guys feel in the comments about this particular reading. Um, like I said, I know this 
this gets kind of intense when we start talking about shadow work but i definitely feel like this is necessary on a collective level because this is going to hit home for a lot of people um so definitely let me know how you feel in the comments uh hit that like hit that share hit that subscribe if you are new here um i appreciate everything that you guys are doing when it comes to sharing my videos when it comes to hitting up those comments um I am here for you guys. This is definitely being pushed to the forefront for me to get these readings out for you guys. And I, I am honored to do them. So again, I'm rooting for you. I'm always rooting for you guys. Um, and I'm sending you a ton of love and light. And until next time, peace.